but I find that the composition that you have for TSM is still pretty good to try to work against that. And that's Wardell with first blood at the switch. Wardell right around the corner, taken down through the smoke. And there's that hawk coming out the guiding light to keep them at bay while they guarantee the spike plant. It will be a four on three. There's a little bit of venom on the ground that's preventing Rossi from moving up. That's actually Rossi's own venom on the ground, mind you. Recon Dart gets taken out, but look at how they set this one up. They basically eliminated that other door. I love the setup with that Viper Venom on the ground, but it's not really working out so well as Sabrosa pops off with two kills. The Venomous Orb over on short to make it a little bit easier. Ten seconds. Now, Wardell has to be careful, but like you said, 10, ten seconds, they've got to get out and try and get the spike secured. Wardell's pop the ult the to come out, but there's... Oh, they barely get the backup there in time. And they do get the spike down, but it's flank. all going to come down to Wardell. Wardell's got to time this one nicely. You mentioned the flank, and Sabrosa does chime in finally. And again, Wardell has the knives out, but it's a rifle versus those knives. It's not going to matter. Wardell gets there just in the nick of time, catches chemicals going for a reload, trying to peek from upper. Do that. There's the Seekers coming out to give away positions. Ace is going to go for the peek. There's backup from Wardell. Look at the molly damage coming out as chemicals makes it look easy getting the double. Wardell is there with the follow-up. Shot up's Ooh. trying to do what he can over in B, but Sabrosa on the other side of the door can't escape before Rossi comes in with the peak. Some stars going down to try to gain access to the site. It's going to probably be a gravity well towards the back corner, and it is. Smoke coming out on the door from the jet. They're trying to escape from Garden, but they haven't been able to get out just yet. Now the smoke fades, but it's going to come down to a 1v1. It's Rossi, who's low on HP, against Wardell, oh, who knows he has to go to the sidearm. There's the smokes coming out. The fly-through with the classic. Got a little scary there. There's a couple... Shots came out from the Classic. There's still the possibility of another smoke as the star gets dropped on short. Timing will be of the essence. And there's the pull through. Huge. But it's just easy peasy for Rossi on the other side. Still inside the ult over on A. Get out of my way. It's down to a three on five. Numbers very much in favor of Immortals who are looking to win their first round. Wardell finally used the knives, but it's a little bit too late. We're down to a very low end on clock. And it was questionable at that. A flawless round victory coming in from Immortals with 14 seconds left. Oh, you know what? I'm looking up. I'm looking at the wrong side. I'm brain dead. <laughs> all I good, really all am good. an iron cast. All good. All good. Uh, Chemicals was the one with the alt. I was just looking at both sides. Excuse me. Rossi lining things up over on short with Chemicals. There's that smoke on long. Nice shot onto the Leer. As strange as that Big is point. to say. But yeah, look at this flank on short. It's all going to come down to timing. Drone. Does get spotted out, has to fight against now both players who are facing that direction. Wardell just has to wait for the smoke to fade, but it's all Wardell. Wardell's got the off miss shot, not where it needs to be. Can't find a follow-up either. Dashes into the wall initially on an attempted escape. And it will be Immortals. What's difficult too is that Gangsta has now rotated in. And that means there is recon dark capability. And <laughs> there's just so much utility being dumped at this site as the smoke comes up from Wardell to try to gain access to the site. Dash away. I think they're realizing that maybe B is the best course of action. Wardell can't even escape, but they do get the kill, the entry they needed to get onto B, and they will go ahead and secure the spike in that territory. But it's going to be difficult. It's a two on four, and barely so. Cut out. This is going to be just difficult. They force out the cosmic divide. That could maybe help a bit. So you see the shot guards coming out, and now Cutler spotted. Not going to be winnable at this point. Yeah. But. Here comes the play as the LMG really opens up. You've got one player left remaining for Dell. You can't hear much beyond. There's the gravity well. You try to slow them down. The Al drone goes out. They're smoked off currently on short. Cutler's like, I'm not even shooting. This isn't fair. His teammate's the one that's spamming through the smoke. And Cutler takes a bullet to the dome. He pays the ultimate price, the ultimate sacrifice for his teammate. Spike's been planted. It's a five on four in favor of Immortals on the site. TSM, though, still trying to retake. You've got Wardell Heaven currently playing an interesting game as his target continues to leap. JC Stani very low on HP. Shot up down to 51. JC Stani actually gets a kill through the floor, but it'll fall down to the last remaining player and finally shot up. Immortals backs off. After securing plant, spam coming through from Gangsta to just slow down the retake. 
everyone coming through from Garden and over towards Spawn. They have to contend with all of the players currently grouped up on Long. The spike was tapped for a moment, but had to get pulled off of because of a Nano Swarm that was dropped down. There's the Snake Bite going down on top of the spike as well. And he's stuck in such a weird position. Cosmic Divide goes down. Shot up has popped Empress as well. They're trying to guarantee the site take. They've still got to deal with Drones. He's waiting around the corner up on top of the boxes. His position is solid. It's a 3K for Drone. Make it four on the round. TSM finally put themselves back on the scoreboard. They could easily just pull him in. Not even for Wardell, but for Sabrosa even. Oh, that's brutal. As soon as he steps into the smoke, it dies. Sabros is in a great spot to get at least one. The Hunter's Fury comes out, but the spam is just spot on. Great damage being no. dealt by the Hunter's Fury, but no! JC Stanny stepping up big! Huge And now kill. again, it's TSM, who's at reduced power. Two players remaining. At least Hayes catches one on the flank, but the spike will go down and force the fight over on the A site. At least you have a good rifler and drone right now. Two players are low on HP, waiting for Hayes to come up. They're going to double up together towards the doorway and try to retake it. But more as the time continues to take on this spike, the better the positioning is for Immortals on this triple crossfire. So let's see what happens. That. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a little scary there for Cutler, jumping and trying to peek. Nano Swarm will force him to peek. But there's Wardell with the backup. Shots coming in on the flank, and the site has fallen apart. It's down to this one player on site, Drone, who tries to charge out and make the hero play, but everything lands in Hayes' lap, and this is what we were talking about. That ult coming in from Viper is going to be so hard for them to deal with in the post plant. A strong first map showing from IMT and moving back over towards Long. Now, the wall has been broken, and a follow-up wall comes through. They do break the wall on the other side, so the opportunity to defuse on that is going to disappear, and that results in a fast play and push in. There's the snake bite kill, something we don't see all that often, and Cutler, who's left alone. He's got Haynes in an advanced position, and it, it, this just feels like a continuation of the last map with the way some of these early round duels have gone. Shot up is feeling it right now, and he's just going to keep on charging. And now Sabros is in a great position. Never mind. You've got a <laughs> flank play coming through, and there was no support for mid. And that's what allows JC Stanley to do what JC Stanley's doing right now. Drone still can't look back, thinking that there's support coming through from the jet in mid, but it's not there in time. Finally, Wardell shows up, but it's too little too late. Now is stuck in the ice. Nice tailwind to get away, at least. How many kills can Wardell get on the retreat? Snake fight lands right on top of him, and. Down to 20 HP as the orb comes through as well. Well, Cutler getting another kill so far. We're looking for the plant. There's no time left. Ashes are pushing forward the counter wall to come up, and they won't get a plant. A thrifty round coming in for TSM just from a crucial kill by taking down the spike carrier. It does drop Drone down just a little bit as they start to work their way up. Drone's in position, but no, he was not prepared for that. Thought he had backup from Cutler. Cutler was playing more of an off angle. The landing doesn't come through cleanly for Shot Up, but there's the peak coming out. Back and forth volley, and it is favoring TSM, at least for the time being. Oh, no. Gangsta on the other side of that wall as it breaks, able to find one more. Now, Sabrosa does have the ult available, so the res will come through. Ooh. Nice shot from Wardell, and they have the three on one now. Chemicals, Insight, has to go big. Only has the heal, ult's been popped, can't even find the first kill from Chemicals. So Chemicals utility really be being stretched here in the early round with the res and the heal coming oh. out. But they find one on the backside, and that opens up an avenue towards the B site. It was such a good start, the first kill, forcing the res, and then just like that, it goes down to just uh, trying to push the pinch into the A side. The ult comes out, though, for the defenders towards B. Wardell's posted up with the op, and he's looking for a big kill. Oh, oh he no. misses! Oh, that's so awkward! I think he meant to go the other direction, and he just flies oh, out no. into the site, and you can see it practically on his face when that happens. The spike barely goes down as the wall gets chipped away at the last possible second. So they have the ability to try and go in for the defuse. And they've already stuck it, and they're not really being able to stop this one at all. Yeah, it's just not much that can be done here. Um, Team Ace. 
The spike will be planted here in just a moment. Again, the knives come out. This time, Wardell won't be oh, best. Oh, oh no, the ult gets canceled, and so does the spike. The round falls apart off of Drone's massive three k from inside of Tube. But now we're at a tie score. This is like the flip of the last map, whereas TSM, who got off to a 5-0, and then IMT woke up and just oh. charged through. Now, JC Stanny catches Cutler looking in the wrong direction. A weird setup on the site that results in site control going the direction of IMT. The spike will be planted. This shot from Wardell gives them that opener. He's down low on HP, sitting at 34. Sabrosa is alive, but in a terrible spot to give him the heal. So it's going to come down to this battle over on long. Sabrosa has to self-heal in that instance. So it will be Wardell forced to work with less HP, trying to make their way out onto the site. You've got Haste already down on the ground, backside site. Looking for information, trying to spot players out. Forgot There's one waiting right around the corner. Barrel, though, speaking out, and it doesn't seem to make a difference. Dismiss coming in from Shot Up. Alir to follow up as well. Wardell is now the last player standing, and he's kind of stuck on sight, realizes it, tries to get out of there, Pushing goes for the updraft and the dash. They're going to push and take out the op, and it will not be brought into the next round. Zip line, and the spike will be planted momentarily. Uh, or not. Yeah, he wanted to oh, he ended up on the other wall. side yeah. of the wall. Yeah. I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on, so he, he accidentally <laughs> fell on the other side of the wall, has to run all the way around very awkwardly, mind you. Huge. Look at Hayes, though. This is what we were talking about. They weren't prepared for the flanks, so Hayes is able to come through. They got one kill on one of the flankers. They didn't anticipate the second. Exactly. So Hayes is in a huge position that takes down two players and really flattens out the hold, and now they're just stuck in such an awkward spot. Hayes has found three kills on the round. It's all up to shot up. The self-heal is in, but good luck. Drone holding the corner, and we're back to a tie score. Open to him, excuse me. They'll go ahead and grab the orb on long. Chemicals will get the plant here, and then they can get the res. So after Chemicals gets this up, he'll go back and he'll res shot up, or potentially even Rossi. But there is that opportunity, and there's the res coming through. That's huge. That could turn the round a little bit, but the spike's being oh, stuck here as there's a wall on the other side. And now they're blind. They can't see anything detained by the Killjoy ult. Everything thrown at the site. The paranoia on top of that to blind everybody on top of the lockdown. And now this round, though, Drone's the ones that's trying to push forward, trying to catch them off guard. Now you have Sabrosa that gets pinged. The Cutler's up there on yellow as well. Huge trades, but still a 2-1-2. Two There's the ult. This time, it actually goes off. Last time, Rossi popped the ult, and he was killed pretty much instantaneously. Now, interestingly enough, despite the fact that the ult was down, Rossi still goes to a more default position, and that is problematic. Cancelled ult coming out from Gangsta, very much wise, given that he was low on HP. Into the A site they go. Bordell nice. with the Frenzy. Nice little two-piece before being taken care of by Chemicals. Walls up, and the spike is down, and oh, Chemicals had a great idea, but it's actually his teammate who ends up winning the first battle post-plant. It's Rossi. Drone is trying to eyeball this wall, knowing that they might try to jump over it or take the rope up to go over it. You can see them trying and not quite committing just yet. Finally, the first one comes through. There's Gangsta on the other side. Rossi from distance with a frenzy, and it comes down to actually a one-on-two. Pretty sure it was still on that Marshall, if I'm not mistaken, if he picked you one in on that run. second round. But let's see what happens. An ult because Hayes got the ult, but then he gets picked off right away. The lockdown's still gonna go off, and they're gonna be able to take map control, but it's still a five on three. Shot up. No Getting way. great position. The dismiss to get away as well. And there's the final kill coming in for Shot up. TSM still has a chance to maintain this lead. Shot comes out from Wardell. We've been seeing that in this second map more Ooh. specifically. The first map was a little bit more problematic for him. JC Stanny has uh -oh. popped the ult in response, <laughs> but Wardell is holding the line, preventing that ult from being a bigger problem than it could have potentially been. There's the ult coming out from Gangsta. Shots coming out over the top. There he tries go. to cancel to dodge it, but he can't in time. And Wardell has now found three on the round, systematically picking them apart single-handedly. He's now brought it down to two. It's Chemicals and Rossi. Now Rossi's been dropped by Drone. And the last player remaining is Chemicals. And with Chemicals holding it off, he's oh, trying to get away. Not going to happen. A five on five, but damage has been dealt to several players. And they have to pick and choose which one's going to get the heal. And it won't be JC Stanny this time around. He's sitting on 45 HP. And the kills are starting to pile up for TSM. 
Again, there's the peek from Wardell, swinging out wide, and the decision is being made. It's time to escape, they can't. but you can't even get away. You've got players already on the flank holding it down, preventing that from even being possible. Good luck, Gangsta. He's going to try and hold on to his rifle as long as he can. He's got the best HP possible, even though there is a smoke on top of it. Hayes is really just here to try to glue them into position, and he's done a pretty good job. The rest of the team is going to be heading over towards A. There's still one player here. It's Shot Up. Shot Up has to go huge from this position. First kill is going to be Shot Up's to take. Wants to go for the dismiss. It's an illogical play. They don't have the wall now for the spike, so that is actually huge, and it's been cut down to now Cutler and Wardell in a two on five with 10 seconds left. That early kill, you're starting to see that, and its effect on the game. Potentially about to take a fight with Gangsta, who's waiting at the top end of two. There's the shots coming through, and it's right on the money to the dome of Sabrosa. 30 seconds left. Here comes Wardell with the op towards long. There's the oh. attempted getaway. It's a little uncomfortable and awkward as Drone was there, and there wasn't much that could be done. The ult coming through to try to cancel the spike plant, but Stuck it. bravely, Hayes mm -hmm. sticks it knowing he has limited time and limited options. It'll come down to a two on three. Wardell does have the ult available. The res is gonna come out. There's the bait from it though, and it works out masterfully. Drone has to go big. Does have some shock darts to work with, but it will be another round on the board for IMT, and an op is down. You see Stanny stay alive with that op in position, and will we finally see the kill go his direction? No. He's taken down to 10 HP. He's so low on health. Desperately looking for a heal, sitting at 10 HP. An oh awkward my. fight on sight as Shot Up just dismisses directly in front of a target and now goes for the ult. This is a bold play. You oh. love to see it, but Drone's already top tube and it's come down to now just two as it's now just Rossi. The round will end in favor of TSM 13 to 9 as they pick up the second map. They're going to go ahead and pop themselves up with the wall, potentially over top of the smoke to try and deny things, but they can't quite get a line of sight to what they needed. So that ends up backfiring just a bit. But Chemicals is here hitting shot after shot. That's two kills for Chemicals, and that gives the team the advantage they needed. As Drone goes towards the back side of sight with the Frenzy, there's targets to the right and to the left, holding to the left currently. Oh. The Frenzy just gets out of control, and it allows Gangsta to get into a better position, and things are quickly going the direction of IMT. The oh. <laughs> Flash tries to go out and go out Guiding Light, but it's... Killed immediately, and is spamming away, looking for an opening. Nice shot! B side into the spawn side, and an uh, easy sweep from uh, Immortals. Yeah, but the other side of it is too, as I'm looking at the spike in that position, that's when it gets really interesting, to say the least. Wardell able to get a kill here on this site. Yet again, Sabrosa suffering a brunt of the damage over in showers, down to 13 HP. Didn't even see anybody yet. And he's low on HP. Shop's around the corner. Shop's got a great Five shot planted. with the Sheriff, but... The bonus isn't working out so well for IMT here. Again, very low HP for Sabrosa. There's at least no potential there, but they're going to have to get past the rest of the team, and Sabrosa's really just there. Lining up flashes for support, but there, there's the shot right to the leg of Sabrosa. It's all it takes as the double swing comes through, and he somehow threads the needle. There's the Seeker's ult pop by Sabrosa to give away the position. Shot up whose top APC has to be careful, and now they're going to start moving their way in. Falling off, switching to the rocket, falling back up. Can't quite connect. Wardell was there with the op. In the meantime, there was a kill coming out as well on the Hunter's Fury. You've got JC standing in position. Oh, oh it's my. so awkward. He runs out of ammo. Wardell just jumping around to dodge the damage that was impending. The last <laughs> remaining player is Chemicals. TSM's looking pretty good here on this half by versus Immortals. Look how fast it is for the site. Oh, the fast play is backfiring just a bit as Chemicals from Hookah. Gets a couple of quick kills on the Sheriff. And there's backup as, as well in Hookah. It's going to be their Sage. So Rossi able to help out with some heal. Nice flash coming out from Sabrosa to try and keep them at bay towards spawn. But he gets pulled in with the gravity <laughs> well. And he's trying oh, so no hard. Way. But the Boom Bot and the Sheriff combine. And now the spike is down. And they're really not in a territory where they can do much about this. That's a rifle pickup as well for Shot Up. He's camera. now sitting back sight in such a dangerous position. The camera gives away positions. Everything going their way. It's going to make things a little bit more uncomfortable here for IMT. Yeah, and uh, there's no ultimates right now for the pulse plan. They have to try to set things up. They're going to have to play close here towards the U-shaped hallway. And it works at least for Cutler for first blood on that five versus four retake attempt of Immortals.
Cutler waiting around the corner. There's the Rez coming out as well. Things are starting to turn in favor of the opposition. Wardell, first shot right on the money. Has Tailwind and the ability to get away. If he can hit this next shot. No, he accidentally Tailwinds into the wall. He had the right idea and he almost lined him up. Tripwire taken out by Trailblazer. Nice shot from Wardell onto Chemicals. And there's a follow-up. JC Stani just caught reloading, standing in the open, wasn't anticipating that play. Shot up's in the corner, and Wardell says, hey, I didn't win that last clutch. Watch what I can do instead. A 4K on the round as Wardell's looking for the ace. He had one bullet left, and he spams it through the smoke. Would have been impressive if he made it happen, but he's still got a chance here. The last remaining player is Gangsta up in heaven, and you know Wardell wants that last kill. Oh, yeah. Even there, it's like, where's my teammates? Unbelievable. Where are my teammates right now for Gangsta? Even, like, any... Uh, any guided light to get that in. There you go. It's an owl drone. And then even on top of that, a, a, a guiding light on the other end. He's stuck in this corner now. Well, at least he denies the ace. So Wardell won't get it today. That's a desk bound if I've seen one before. Still a solid round from Wardell. Nice shock darts coming out to try to push them back a little bit. Do some additional chip damage. There's the Seekers coming out. There's the... Uh, Cosmic Divide as well, but wow. the Boombot gets a kill, as does Hunter's Fury. Everything is piling up in favor of IMT. The last remaining player is spotted out inside the Nebula. Wardell with the Judge trying to make space. The Seeker's coming out. Oh, oh my no. god, it halos him! The shotgun just traces with the pattern. That's so disappointing. JC Stanny kind of gets a little bit lucky there as the damage just goes around him for the most part. Yeah. Meanwhile, Cutler's picked off one. Rossi gets a trade back. Damage heavy in favor right now of IMT. And with that, they decide, let's get out of here. Drone's on a Guardian, has to be careful. It's down to just Hayes, who's oh, over sheriff. on the opposite side of the map, at least guaranteeing the spike, but only has a Sheriff. All right, well, he, at least he activates a lockdown with that too. So he's trying to run that clock. Looking for a better position. The drone or the turret, excuse me, will give away the position. Yeah, the divine intervention scene from Pulp Fiction. Classic. Hazed, peaks from heaven, has to be careful. Almost dead, 17 HP left. Obviously can get a heal from Sky. Sky gets into a better position. But they're quickly moving into the site to try to get back on in this retake. You've got Gangsta currently in you. IMT has full control of the site, plus the Sage Wall down. It's going to be difficult for them to do much of anything. They try to use the Shock Tarps to gain space. Flying around the corner, though, the pistol work is spectacular. It's come down to now just Chemicals, who's in showers, and how quickly that one fell apart is on this A site. Look how many players are over on A currently for TSM. They've only got one player passively playing B. Now, Wardell doesn't quite get the timing right there towards short. Peeks away at the worst possible time. He will hit one shot from backside site. But the defense has crumbled and it's fallen onto Drone. It is just Drone left alive with the Phantom. The rest of the team didn't really have the greatest hardware coming in as a bonus round. Oh, Ooh, nice shot, dink shot onto Chemicals. Counter dink coming out through the wall a bit. This shock dart's right on the money. So, oh, maybe not. I thought for sure that would have killed him, but it doesn't really hit where it needs to. And Drone's actually surprised himself. He's like, how did that not connect? The chemical survives in that position with 10 HP. It'll be insult to injury if he manages to find the kill here on the drone. And that's because he doesn't know where that second player is. So just because of that, running that clock down allows Immortals to get that last kill. All drone, recon darts, nano swarms. Quite a bit. And there's also a gravity well trying to suck them in. Shot up goes flying out there with the ult and catches Cutler on the other side. Wardell with a miss. That's actually not characteristic of him across the last couple of maps we've seen him so on point this series and a res coming in from Rossi as well rounds over they're already pulling the trigger here and going for the save yeah you can see drone and his teammate backing off of this one the showstopper it was still a trade that's good enough and even then TSM had the perfect stack after going for the recon guard and the owl drone oh okay well not bad here for saving your weapons or at least JC Stani win that duel we've been talking about it how well has Wardell been doing in that duel when they were playing both his Jets? Obviously playing different roles now, but when they were both offing, it seemed to be the fight going his direction. Verticality is the name of the game for Shot Up, but it also is the result of his death. You've got three players left standing here okay. on the attacking side, and hold on, make it just one. Gangsta's the only one left remaining, and despite having the ult available, didn't cancel the Killjoy ult with Hunter's Fury. 
could have done so. Yeah. But it's now a 1v4, even though there's low HP for some of these players. Gangsta spots the first target, does have Standing Shock Dart ahead. and Recon Dart. So goes for the Recon Dart to give away the position. Shock Dart coming out next. That'll do some chip damage if he actually Shock connects. Dart. It goes a little bit too far. And he's tr starting to keep his head on the swivel because he knows he could be getting flanked, but just doesn't check back in time. Their pressure is focused towards long. They do have a player on site. That's Wardell with the op. Playing top can and, oh, just can't get the second shot off in time. There's the ult coming out as well. Hunter's Fury spotting out players left and right, doing great damage. Sabroza takes shots from the side from the ult, from the ult, excuse me, and then from shot up as well. And you can see the call being made from Cutler and Hayes. They've realized the round is definitely lost. Yeah, Ford, but this wall is going to be like a thorn on the side here for Wardell. That oh. ult could be huge, and Shot Up actually gets on the other side of the wall. No way. They're playing this wall actually to their no. advantage. Look at how well this is working out for them. Everything that should have gone the direction of TSM has now gone the way of IMT. Wardell has to switch to the rifle and go through blind. Shot Up finds a fourth kill on the round. A massive ult. He peeks through. Cannon with the Vandal, and can they hold it down? Oh, Cutler dies getting spammed through the smoke. Drone trying to do what he can with the ult and could do significant damage here. Does at least pick up one kill. Wardell's still on site. The Seeker is going to come out to give away positions. This is certainly winnable. Wardell's popping off with the rifle. It may not be as trusty off, but he's brought it down to manageable numbers, and it's all on Shot Up. Shot Up will get the first kill. Doesn't actually turn back to the other one despite knowing that he's there because he saw the bird come out. He killed it. But keeping his head on the swivel, going back more towards default. 45 seconds left, has time to play with. Insane. The the only rifle that was in play for TSM allows for two kills and shut up kill noises is coming back. Makes it a one versus one. It's up to Hayes with a Bucky. Oh, he might be playing right into this though. Hayes is right around the corner with the shotgun. They'll just let chemicals take that position. They're gonna move up short. Cutler is currently U-Haul, has to go big. There's the first kill coming out from Wardell oh, with no. the knives. Shot up, at least getting a trade back. The rocket gonna go out long distance as the ult did come online. Wardell is now down to 15 HP, but still left standing and Lurk still has showers. the knives at his disposal. And he's got Sabrosa if he can get to him to get the heal. But the setup, Gangsta. it's all about the flanking player. It's all about Gangsta, like you're saying. Gangsta currently over towards showers. Wardell down to one knife. He just wants one knife to hit. But it looks like he's going to have to switch to the shotgun. Goes inside the smoke. It's actually a shock dart that takes care of Wardell. Sabrosa in position. Down to 3 HP. Spike's been taken to halfway. They're trying to peek to prevent the defuse from coming oh through. My. But no, it will be the round for TSM. It potentially could have done way more damage. Oh, no. His drone wouldn't have been prepared necessarily for that. Now, drone does not get sucked into the gravity well, but the shock dart's right on the money. It's exactly what they needed. Boom, but the flashes from Sabrosa oh, no. actually end up hitting the wall. It's not looking so good right now for TSM. It's come down to Hayes and Wardell. Five players remain as the B site is porous. And IMT takes advantage of those holes in the defense. And it's just falling apart here. The last remaining player, Wardell. What can you really do? Wardell's actually getting hit by pulses as the Hunter's Fury as well. They know where he's at. He's got the op in hand. Who other than shot up to get the final kill? 13-11 in favor of Immortals. They will take the series and knock TSM down into the lower bracket.